Hello and welcome back. So I've decided to create an additional video here. We can call it a bonus video for the account basics section, focusing specifically on AWS documentation. So here's the thing about AWS documentation or any technical documentation for that matter, is that it is absolutely necessary for you to be able to know where to locate information and how to use the documentation because no matter how many certifications you have, no matter how many years you've been using a certain product or service, no matter how much of an expert you may be considered, you are always going to need to refer to documentation at some point. I use AWS documentation all the time. It is a great tool. It is a fantastic resource to answer questions that you may have and discover new and different ways of doing things inside AWS. So I want to spend a few minutes here just to really show you how to access documentation in a more in-depth way and show you the different types of information that you can get. So first, Throughout Project Omega, any time that you drop into a section and go to a specific lesson, there's always going to be a link at the bottom to AWS documentation specific to that lesson. So for example, for Internet Gateway, I have the AWS link here for the Internet Gateway documentation. It brings you right to the documentation for Internet Gateway. So the same thing for availability zones, subnets, or for any one of the lessons specifically the link is right here to bring you directly to that part of the aws documentation so working outside of project omega i'm just going to squeeze this over to the side here when you're in the aws console as i reviewed in the previous video to access documentation all you need to do is go to support here and click on documentation this will give you a full list of all the aws services which you can then click on and dive into the documentation. But once you do that, things can get a little confusing. And this is where I wanted to dive a little bit deeper. So for S3 documentation, you're going to see there's actually several different types of documentation that you can go to. There's the getting started guide, developer guide, API reference, a new console user guide, a preview, and just a console user guide. So there's a bunch of different places you can go here to get information and documentation about S3. So unless you're a developer or need specific API calls, generally what you're going to do is you're going to want to go to the Getting Started Guide. This is going to have the basic information about the different features and usage of the AWS service that you are currently in. Now, it comes in several different formats, HTML to view online and then PDF and Kindle to download and view offline. For the most part, I always just click right here on the Getting Started Guide to the HTML link and then on the left-hand side here, you get a full navigation. So right here we have getting started, Amazon S3 basics, sign up for Amazon S3, how to create a bucket, how to add an object to a bucket, to view an object, to move an object. So if you see here, there's just kind of a whole bunch of information that you may need in order to kind of get started using AWS. Then there's a where do I go from here? You can look into common use scenarios for backing up and storage, application hosting, media hosting, software delivery, advanced Amazon S3 features, development resources. So there's just a wealth of information here that you may need to access at some point in order to understand a feature or a part of a service better as you start to learn, explore, and use AWS. So just as another example, we can dive into Amazon EC2 here. We can go to the user guide specific here for Linux instances versus Windows instances or using EC2 section from the command line interface, which was outside the scope of this course. But for Linux, we can click on HTML. And here it'll talk about, you know, what is an EC2 instance, setting up, get it started, best practices, right? How to set up best practices for security, storage, resource management. Then there's going to be a a slew of tutorials that you can look through and walk through and read about. Dive into more information about Amazon machine images, creating you know, an instant store back Linux M AMI, specific instance types, purchasing options, li instance life cycle. So as you can see here, this is just where all of the information is that you may need to either continue learning about a specific service or 
help troubleshoot, solve problems that you may be having in AWS. Now, another great way to access any one of these resources is just to do a quick Google search for it. So I can just do EC2 AWS documentation, and then it's going to bring up, usually the first result will be something that I'm looking for. So that'll drop me right to this page as opposed to navigating through the console. And as another resource, you can also use Google just to ask the question specific that you may have about an AWS service. And there's a good chance that a link will come up that will actually deliver you directly down to one of these sub areas that talk specifically about the issue or the solution that you may be looking for. So again, I just wanted to create this video to give you a more in-depth look at documentation because as you learn and start to use AWS, being able to use documentation, to be able to utilize it as a resource to either answer questions that you have or troubleshoot is extremely valuable. Everybody that works in AWS out in the real world in their jobs will constantly use and refer to documentation. So that's not something that you should be ashamed of or think that it's something that you shouldn't have to use, that you should know something. AWS is so big, there's so many services and features and so many little nitty gritty options that nobody knows everything. And you're going to have to know how to access documentation, find things quickly in documentation if you're going to be a successful, skilled AWS user, architect, or admin. And with that, I will conclude this lesson. Thank you for watching. You may now move on.